change the keyboard of HP Lightbook 840G3. So we have it right here on the table. And before we change the keyboard, I just want to show you some steps on how you can check which letters of your keyboard specifically are not working so that you'll be sure before you change the keyboard. So first and foremost, just go to your uh, laptop's browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge here. And then type here online keyboard tester. Online keyboard tester. So after typing that, just come to the first search result online keyboard tester uh my internet is a bit slow but i think not as slow as much so let's give it time yeah so we have our keyboard here so i'm going to put it on full screen mode so that you can see what's happening and i'm going to change the mode to i think dark mode which is more let me make it dark mode so that you see what's happening and see which keyboards basically are not working for this machine so as you can see right here we have the mapping of this keyboard right on the screen there so i'm going to test all of them so if i press a key you see there's a the keys that are working the turn blue yeah so you can see on this laptop you realize that uh there's a certain column all row i don't i don't know that but there's a certain column all row that is not working yeah so you can see these four and five rt and that's how most of this keyboard gets shorted yeah it it normally happens in a how do i describe this diagonal manner in a vertical way yeah so if it is four expect it to go like this if it is one two these letters will not work like this yeah so mine these are the bad letters so i'm going to show you just in the next part of the video how to replace such a keyboard so first thing first definitely you have to turn off the laptop I normally use the Windows X UU key to turn off the laptop. So it's off. So right there it's off and you're going to check the keyboard. So first before you remove the keyboard, remember the keyboard has some two screws on the inside just below the back cover. So you'll have to remove the back cover first so that you get to the keyboard. So we're going to do that as fast as we can because I don't want this video to be so long. In the moment as I'm doing this if you, if you like the content of this account, please make sure to click on the like button for this video. Uh, I know maybe you don't want to get time to share, but please subscribe for more informative videos like these ones. Because it's your subscription and it's your, you clicking on the like button that motivates me to do even much more informative videos or even better videos than this one. So right there I'm just removing the cover clips for the screws. You realize this is a brand new machine. The warranty seals have not been removed. I'm the first person to remove them. So these are the warranty seals. See, you have the covers. So I'm going to remove the covers, all of them. Then I unscrew it as fast as I can. Unfortunately, I don't have the... How do you call it? The other screw, the, 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 the electric screwdriver. Yeah, I don't have it, so I'm just going to use my hands. Which is much better because if you use these, you're not going to destroy the washers or the the leads for these screws but if you use the electric one the chances are high that you're going to destroy the thread here so right there let me not give you so many stories i know you're about to skip because you want to see the next part but sometimes it's good to be procedure I don't know if it's theoretical or what you just have to follow the procedure yeah? so right there i'm about to finish all the screws I'm trying to be fast because I don't want to forward this video. Don't want you to miss any part, any crucial part. Remember you have to be very keen. If you decide to do this and you're not an expert on this, you have to be very keen on this procedure because if you're not keen, you'll end up destroying the laptop's motherboard. So you have to be very keen. Yeah. So right there I'm just about to finish the last screw. I think I'm done. Here there's one or already removed it i'm not sure because there's a lady here well i think it's out yeah is it out for sure let me just confirm yeah it's here so uh -huh. so bear with me i'm just about to finish Remember, we don't want this video to be so long. Then you'll have to remove this because there's always a hidden screw right here. So don't forget about this. 
And one thing you have to remember, if you are doing this, most of these laptop parts, if you want to remove them, don't force them. If you see you're forcing something, then just know there's something that you're missing or there's something that you've not done right. Because they're made to come out so easily. Yeah. And these usually are long screw. It's different from these ones. These ones are short, you see? It's short and tall. Short and thin, thick. But this one is a bit long. Yeah, so you can compare. So then to remove the back cover, if you have a screwdriver, just put it on one of these edges and then try pulling it upwards. See? So that's how it is. So it came out a bit roughly, but that's how it is. And we are now in. Or we can now access the motherboard and the other two screws that are saying. So first and foremost, before you do any other thing on this laptop, just disconnect the battery because remember, if you operate on this laptop with the battery connected, then chances are high that you're going to short the motherboard. So remove the two screws for the battery, this one and this one. Then after removing it, there's this uh, plastic here, just for holding and removing the battery. It's strategically placed there to help you remove the battery. So okay unfortunately it's not coming out i think there's a part that i've not opened it should come out easily yeah there you are so you move the battery and then now you have two screws here and remember if you want to know the right screw to open that is attached to the keyboard there's always an icon here see there's this icon that looks like a keyboard here you can see so th this one is for this screw it means you have to open this screw it's for a keyboard you see this is a keyboard and then we have another one right here. You can see the keyboard icon. So you remove these two screws. Yeah. So that's what you're going to do. Remove the screw. Remove this one too. See? After that, we're not going to touch so many things. This is the RAM. Maybe let me just show you some of the things inside here. This is the RAM. We have another expansion slot here on this machine. This is the SSD M2 SSD. We have another slot here for M2 SATA here. So you can attach SSD here and another SSD here. So this is a hybrid kind of a machine. So that's not, that was not the topic for today. After you remove these two uh, screws, what you do is uh, you use your screwdriver like this one. You insert it there and then you push it now. If you push this board with the screw, uh, it should pop up and then if your screw is short like mine then you have to find a sharp blade you need to find a sharp blade like this one or a scalpel yeah so and then you place it gently at the edge of this keyboard try placing it just gentle as you can so that it gets in and then you use it to pull out the keyboard yeah so you do that slowly on the keyboard we're using something sharp so that you don't leave marks on the keyboard or scratches yeah, on the laptop to show that you, maybe somebody was struggling to do something here. Yeah. So after that, when you just have the small space, you can now use your hands to pull the keyboard off from the motherboard. And now this is the keyboard. So to remove these things, the keyboard you have some plastic parts here. Don't struggle with them. If you want to remove them, just unclip them backwards like this. You'll see them detaching see right there then you remove the keyboard easily this other side you do the same thing move the keyboard easily yeah on this other side do the same thing just remove yeah so that's how you detach it so this is the keyboard this is the old keyboard and you're now going to replace it with a our new keyboard here and remember this is the old keyboard this is the old one and this is the new one. So I'm going to place this uh, old keyboard onto the laptop. But uh, it doesn't have backlight. Yeah, you can see. So I just have to borrow a backlight from this to this one. So I'll have to pause the video for a short time so that I replace this to there. Then when you're done, you'll get back to the video. So now I'm done transferring the backlight. As you can see, I've already fixed it properly yeah, to this new keyboard. And then now it's time to unseal the keyboard. I have to I just waited to unseal it at the last stage because I didn't want to contaminate the contacts, yeah, with dust and other stuff. So we are done. And just as we removed it, the 
returning process is just as easy as the, remo uh, the initial process so just put it back like this just be gentle with it don't force things here so as you can see i'll have to put it back i say don't force things but i think like i'll have to force it but please don't force them so just like that we are done with that and then we'll have to fix the backlight so this is where the backlight gets into see right here we put it back like that closer to the white line you can see the white small line there then you close the lid like that so after that now we turn see put the keyboard back gently first start with the lower side as gently like that sure it's properly placed the lower side yeah this other side is a bit uh -huh, like that then now you can press down the clips on the upper side to ensure that it clips properly till you hear those clicking sounds here and li just like that we have fixed our keyboard back so uh, we are going to test the keyboard out to see which keys are not working I'll have to put back the battery because remember this is experimental I'm just showing the procedure so I'll have to put back the battery and then we turn on the laptop uh, how is it getting back properly yeah like that let me just screw the keys for this and this one there you go so I'll just use this uh, back cover so as not to short circuit anything because I'm not sure of my table surface then we turn it on yeah let's turn it on you see how fast this laptop boots we're going to use our timer here because I don't have a normal time timer so we are going to use the seconds arm there so one two let me just turn it on there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so it took us 13 seconds to boot up the laptop so it's already on and as usual we're going to have to test our keyboard i think this is one of the signs that the keyboard is working so let's open the keyboard tester once again and test it and see if it's if it is working so once again there you write online keyboard tester online keyboard tester there you go click on the first uh, search result there you have it i'm going to put it back to the dark mode full screen so that you see so we test the upper keys they should be working okay i don't know if it's already functioning but uh so unfortunately only this one is working the others are not working so i'll have to put to uh, i'll have to redo the procedure because it seems the keys are not working let me just test again to be sure maybe it was taking some time to repair yeah only this one is working yeah you can see caps lock but it should be working because the caps lock is blinking let me just try it again so after just uh, some few troubleshooting, I, I did not even uh, go back to the keyboard hardware procedures. It was just a matter of refreshing on this tab and then testing the keys because the keyboard was working on another function, but here on the test it was not working. So let me just show you that the keyboard is working. You can see number two is working properly. Number seven, eight, nine, zero. We have all the keys working. The backspace <coughs> right here. We have all the keys working, as you can see. So I think we are done and that's how you know if you've done a good job or your job didn't go as planned there. Yeah? So there is it. If you find this video so helpful and informative, please don't forget to follow this account. Don't forget to like on this video. I really appreciate the support you've been giving me guys. Thank you so much for the massive subscriptions. It's been amazing yeah, and encouraging. See you next time on another video. I just have to put back the screws. On this part, I'm not going to show you because at least you knew the procedure for opening, and then you, you won't be. It won't be that difficult to 
seal it back properly see you next time on another video same account different time